Some sad news. The Gloucestershire Spitfire pilot, Joy Lofthouse, who flew planes for the Air Transport Auxiliary in World War II, has died. She was 94 and one of a group of pioneering women who delivered planes to airfields across the country during the war. Our Gloucestershire reporter, Steve Nibbs, looks back on her life. In the Air Transport Auxiliary, Joy Lofthouse flew many single-seaters, but it was the Spitfire that remained her favourite. It was, she said, the closest thing to having your own wings. It was so easily manoeuvrable. When you moved, it moved. Very tiny cockpit. It wasn't so friendly on the ground because it had a very uh, steep nose. In her last interview with the BBC, she spoke to Pam Ayres earlier this year about joining the ATA and being a woman in the war. Well, they liked it very much that I'd been sporting because they knew that if you'd been sporting, you had good coordination. Yeah. All women did something. It was dangerous just to be around. And you were young. Nothing was ever going to happen to you. No, I know. You feel, you feel invincible then, no, don't absolutely. you? Absolutely. For many that knew Joy, it was her modesty that stood out. She often wondered why people were so interested in her story. It was very much just what she did, what, did, what everybody of, of, of her age, of that generation, felt they had to do. And you're absolutely right, she was completely modest about it. And you had to, you had to probe to get the stories about climbing aboard Spitfires and flying bombers around the country, but absolutely fascinating. But tell her story she did, and as patron to a local charity, she inspired generations old and new. She'd come onto our air smiles days and put all that inspiration onto the children and even the adults. Uh, she came to a Veterans Day back in June and, you know, everything that she said, everybody listened to with absolute intrigue. Her energy and enthusiasm knew no bounds. At the age of 92, Joy took control again of her beloved Spitfire, 70 years since she was last in the cockpit. I'm so lucky she didn't control Joy had a love of tennis after playing it as a schoolgirl in Sirencester, and last summer she was guest of honour in the Royal Box at Wimbledon, where she received an ovation from the centre court crowd. The humble Spitfire girl in the limelight again, and whose pioneering work will never be forgotten. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West. The quite remarkable Joy Lofthouse, who's died aged 94. What a life.